That's why I love and respect engineers. That's the only thing that we really need to teach in school is engineering. We weren't designed to fly, we weren't designed to go into space, but we chose to go there, and so we did. As engineers, really in the end, what we're trying to do is build things that can be used to better society. If you study engineering and, and you figure out how to design new things, um, then um, it's relatively easy to start a company. Um, you, you just need to get a few like-minded people um, with you and, and then focus on creating a prototype, a compelling prototype as soon as possible. Um, and then the, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a strong venture uh, capital industry in this, in this country that will give you funding to take things to the next level. Um, and that, that's all there is to it. Um, and, and you, you might if, you know, try it a few times, you might, may or may not succeed, but um, I think sometimes people fear, fear starting a company too much. Um, you know, to have to say, really, what's the worst that could, could go wrong? You're not going to starve to death. You know, you're not going to die of exposure. Um, what's the worst that could go wrong? You know? Motivated. Most of the founders that I have spent a lot of time with that have gone on to be super successful spent a very long time on their idea uh, when a lot of other people would have given up. And working hard early in your career to get the leverage and the compounding effects is underrated and one of the most valuable pieces of advice that I never got. We have made significant steps towards creating robots that can reconfigure and potentially build almost anything, including Much things larger than themselves, from vehicles to buildings to larger robots. The mechatronics spans what are traditionally separate departments, and the space between typical disciplines is actually a very active and creative space for design. To me, there was still a huge gap between what I knew and how to actually apply these concepts, and Mechatronics really helped me in closing this gap. In projects is this electric race car. I started by modeling and simulating a very structurally strong chassis, which is then cut and welded together according to schematics I made. At the same time, I welded a battery pack which is air-cooled and designed an ECU to maintain it. Each of my circuits is designed and then soldered on perforce or PCBs. I soldered these with a reflow plate I made out of a clothes iron. These circuits are then configured in separate modules, of which there are five main ones. The whole car consists of about 20 separate controllers and processors. This is engineering. There's five pillars to the art of engineering. We try to give them things to do that are fun and still significant. And it's not hard because that's what engineering is. Modern engineering is a lot of teamwork. If you think about like how is Boeing airplane made, right? A lot of engineers work on that project and they have to collaborate and we need to learn early on how we are work successfully together. Engineering is creative. It's as creative as any other art discipline, an art form, as long as you're willing to keep an open mind and think out of the box. So my experience is I'm trained in mechanical engineering department as a mechanical engineer, but now I'm working with the department of ophthalmology. So then you learn about physiology, you learn as long as you're willing to get yourself out of your comfort zone, great things happen. There you go. Very good.